your doubts question number 1 which is of physics i'll read the question for you what will be the flux coming out of the uh, out of any surface of a cube if the charge q microcoulomb is placed at the center of the cube ma'am yeah please share your screen you don't have the question paper no ma'am i don't have the question paper uh got us a tool no you have to go to ignite india app and you can get test paper try i'll go to ignite india yeah the uh, problem is if i share the question paper i would not be able to solve it if you ask me any doubt i can share only one screen at a time so either whiteboard or only the question paper <coughs> Okay, I'll. Please go to Ignite India app. Yes. Okay. And who said option B? Me. Yeah. And why did you say option B? In uniform magnetic field, the starting points are the maximum. i thought i think it. okay so your answer is b yes okay so electric field is directed along the decreasing potential right isn't it and what the question is asking is it asking the electric field force or the electric potential potential electric potential potential, potential. potential. and there is a lot of difference between electric field force and electric potential isn't it gagi yes ma'am yes so what should be the answer the point which is lying near to the uh, starting of the electric field will have more electric potential correct and then the the point which is nearer to that and then the point which is farthest so i can say that c is nearer and a is more far so the maximum field will be at will be at b. yes correct b. b okay uh next question what is the minimum charge on a particle 1.6 into 10 to minus 9 into 10 to minus 9 into 10 to minus 9 Minus 19. 19. Okay. B is the answer, correct? B. Yes. Next question, forty-one. Find the successive elements of the periodic table with ionization energies two thousand three hundred seventy-two, five twenty, and eight ninety kilojoule per mole, respectively. Option D, ma'am. Option D. D. Option D. Option D is the answer. D. Correct. D is the answer. Please explain. Okay. uh so do you understand by the meaning of ionization energies yes yes ma'am yes ma'am okay uh who asked this question first of all me ma'am yes ashwini so what's your doubt in the question can i ask you first ma'am actually i uh, i didn't got the question uh, what actually it is asking okay ashwini uh, you know the meaning of ionization energies yes ma'am what is ionization energy uh it is the energy released by the ions ionization enthalpy we can say mm mhm okay so uh, according to you what should be the answer I am not getting the question. Acha, can you tell me the atomic number of helium, lithium, and beryllium? Two, three, four. Huh? Two, three, four. Yes, two, three, four. And tell me which is a uh, which is more more stable among these two, three, and four? Two. Helium. 
helium yes and why is it so can you give me any answer about that neon gas it completes your neon gas yes and what about lithium and beryllium lithium is less stable than helium yes you just and answered your own question among these among these is there any 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 com, any atom here which is uh, uh which is a inert gas can you say that among the options which is given to you helium is inert gas yes yes so it will have Yes. So what? Tell everyone to switch on the video. Just me now. We can start the thing. Okay. so uh, the ionization energy uh, so variation in period among the elements of ionization energy is so ionization energy is generally increase along the period because in moving left to right in a period the effective nuclear charge per outermost electron increases while the corresponding principal quantum number remains the same getting my point who asked this question is she here yes, okay now what is the variation in a group among the representative elements again uh, according to your z effective how is it dependent on z effective how it is dependent on moving top to down it does it increases or decreases ionization energy decreases decreases very good it decreases very good so ionization energy is inversely proportional to the size am i correct yes yes ma'am got yes, the answer yes ma'am got the answer okay so basically in see that's why i told you you take your periodic table and you know compare and learn yourself like this what you were there in that class ashwini or you joined late uh, you joined later in the cl class I joined later, but uh, you explained about the periodic table how we should make and write in that. Yes. So did you do do that? Yes, ma'am. You did. Okay. So you have to keep revising, Ashwini. The thing is that that because there are many elements. I understand there are you know so many elements that you have to study about. Okay, in chemistry. but chemistry is something that you have to do it okay like in that way only you have to do it there is no other go and uh, with time you know when you keep revising when you keep correcting yourself one day you will you know understand by yourself okay from moving top to down it increases or moving top to down it decreases for example uh, till now everybody would have understood the concept of uh, atomic size yes ma'am yeah so everybody would yes, have understood ma that because uh, moving left to right it enters in the same orbital so no, uh, no difference right and from moving top to down the orbital suddenly increases then it increases so like that you have to relate okay so with your understanding with the way that you revise one day you will know everything in chemistry that has been written in your ncert i know nobody can revise everything at one time but at least 20 time revisions you can do for chemistry for the same periodic table i am telling not telling about this all chemistry but only about the periodic table okay yes ma'am yes ma'am okay now 40 second question in the modern periodic table the number of period of elements is same as ma'am option a principal quantum number option a option a yes principal quantum number correct okay now the correct order of sizes of uh, iodine iodine plus ion and iodine minus ion is option 3 option 3 option 3 option 3 option 3 good very good okay 
Okay, now moving to the next question. For the same value of n, the penetration power of orbital follows the order. Option what do you mean by option three? Can you explain this? Yes, yes, mm. I will explain this. But first, uh, the uh, students who have answered me this question, can you tell me what do you mean by penetration power? Anybody? For explanation of penetration power. Okay, then how you are able to answer this question? Ma'am, how, uh, how the electron can enter in that shell? I think that is very good. Uh, very good. Uh, F shell, then D shell, P shell, then then the last one is SL, and penetrating is man, like that. Yes. It can yes, easily yes, enter yes. in the F shell and then D and then P and then the S be most difficult to enter. MS is the last one. Yeah. Yes, so uh, you are almost correct. So penetration power is something uh, that uh, suppose there is one orbital, okay? So what is the power of that orbital to attract an electron? Okay. So the penetration power of which orbital is maxim maximum? S. 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 Yes, so S, S. is maximum. S. S. Then P, then D, and then F. And that is why the configuration starts from 1s to 2s to 2p6, 3s to 3p6, 3d9, right? Okay. Now tell me next question. Which of the reactions will need the maximum amount of energy? So, in questions like this, what do you search for? Ma'am, How do you search three. for the answer? Yeah. Ma'am, uh, so option three. Ionization energy. What? Ma'am, through the ionization energy. Yes, that is one correct answer. But then, uh, can I say uh, a number of electrons or... left? Yes. So. Uh, how how much uh, stable the atom is becoming after losing that one electron can i say that yes ma'am yes ma'am okay yes so if it is already stable and you are letting go of that one electron that the atom will not allow that electron to go and will take the maximum amount of energy yeah am i correct yeah so yes, the answer is option c yes Ma'am? Yes. Ma in that case, sodium also can take it. Sodium also. It is a one okay. group element. So, what you have to do is, Geetika, um, everybody, I'm telling, uh, write the configuration of the left side of the elements that is given. So, sodium is 11. Okay. So, it will become 1s to 2s to 2p6 uh, sodium. Okay. Then it will become 1s to 2s to 2p5 after becoming Na+. Plus. Yeah. Okay. Now the uh, that has not uh, been stable in 2p6. Now what about calcium? What is the atomic number of calcium? 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. Now 20. write the configuration of calcium and see uh, uh, in Ca+. Plus, you are going. You are going from Ca plus to Ca two plus. Okay, so are you are you losing that electron from the same orbital? Okay, because one electron lost from the same orbital, if it is stable, for example, I'm telling. So if suppose calcium is stable and in the outer orbital they have completed the octave, so the first electron loss will take more energy, right? Then the second electron loss, right? So that's how you have to do this question. Can you guys do now? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay, I'll give you yes, one minute of the time to think over the answer that's been given and then we'll go forward. So everyone who has a doubt with this question can just uh, try this again and write the configuration if you have doubt and then we will start again is that fine
Done? Is the answer clear? Is the answer clear? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Good, good. So that's how you have to look for, okay? So uh, be it maximum amount of energy uh, that will be needed or uh, maximum amount of energy that is lost, okay? It all depends on stability. And obviously the ionization energies and you know the stability will also depend on stability. So that's some uh, relations that you have to, you know, remember, right? Okay, now coming towards your maths, this time uh, we thought of giving some vectors. Been a long time that you have seen vectors. Yeah. Okay. What about 46th question? Um, option one. Option, A. option, option A. one. Okay. Anybody, anybody option. who says that the answer is something else apart from option one. Anybody who says that the answer is something else apart from option A? Okay, so the answer is option A. Let's not confuse you guys. Okay, what about the second question? A vector in the direction option. of vector. Yeah. Option, option four. I'm four option. D. Yes, D is the answer. Yes. So, uh, how do you find out the vector in the direction of the same vector vector that is given to you? Then by eliminating the option, just calculating the magnitude of all the four. And in the fourth one, we find that the magnitude is 15. Yes. Right. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, correct. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, third question in maths. The position vector of a point which divides a joint of points with position vector this and this in the ratio 1 is to 2 internally is? I'm fourth. D. I'm fourth option. Very good. D is answer. I'm like D. Yes. Okay. What about the fourth question? If magnitude uh, A vector. Option C. Ma'am, can you explain this? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, ma'am, so, there is a problem in this. Okay, one second. Just give me a second, guys. Just give me a second. Everybody is able to see the white board, correct? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma okay. Fine. So the question was, uh, A vector is equal to 4. So this is, what do you mean by these? These are mods, right? So it is basically root over A square plus B square plus C square and A, B, C being your coefficients of the vector. Okay. Now, um, what is the question asking? And lambda ranges from... Yeah? Ma'am, I think uh, in the question it's not given that it's a vector. I think it's just uh, any coefficient and not any real number just taken. Just a match. Which number? Ma'am, just mod of A only, ma'am, means it's not mentioned the mod no, no, of vector it's, it's, A. It's a vector only. It's a vector. An arrow is given, that's why. It is a vector. Arrow. Okay, that's a vector. Uh, is there any misprinting in the question, maybe? Let me see. Arrow it's given. No, ma'am, no, ma arrow is 
Sorry. It's a vector. Oh, yeah. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, I mean, my error is not given that. Maybe you are not able to see, or the device in which you are seeing it is not able to support. So you, I will show you guys one second. Can you see the arrow now? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Yes. So this is your question. Okay. Now, still, you have any doubt with the question? This was the doubt. No doubt, so you are having doubts. My doubt. Yes. You have a doubt, Shreyansh. No, ma'am, it was not my doubt. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, who has the doubt? You still have the doubt or not? So, what you basically have to do in the question? Let's discuss this then, at least, because uh, then you will have a doubt later. Okay. Uh, so, what do you have to do in the question here? So, lambda is given to you as minus three to minus two, uh, minus three to two. This is the range of lambda that is given to you. Then they are asking the range of lambda a vector mod is. So, what do you mean by lambda a vector? What do you mean by lambda a vector? Have you guys got it or not? Mod of lambda into mod of uh, a vector. Very good. Then mod of lambda is not given and mod of a is given to you as 4. So that will be 4 of mod of lambda. And what will be the thing? So lambda ranges from minus 3 to 2. So your uh, range will be from minus 12 to 8. Correct? Yes, so that was the whole yes, question. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. You don't even need a pen and the paper. Answer is, remember the answer given is wrong? Yes, ma'am. Yes, then the answer given is wrong, correct? So the answer is minus 12 to 8. Ma'am, but the question is no, mod, mod, is mod is given. So it will be yeah, positive. it is in mod, so it should not be from zero. Uh, can you guys, one of you can tell because I'm not able to hear anything. Ma'am, Ma the question mod. is asking yeah. mod of lambda uh, a. Mm -hmm. So it mm -hmm. should be from zero to 12. Yeah, it, the answer is 0 to 12. So I will tell you why, why the answer is 0 to 12. If you have a doubt, then... I've got it. So it is your uh, 4 lambda that you have to find out, okay? So 4 will come out and lambda will stay like this, okay? Now, uh, the lambda ranges from 2 to minus 3. So I think this is the right thing, okay? Now... Uh, Tell, uh, tell me about this that uh, mod of lambda will range from 0 to 3 because they are asking about mod of lambda, not lambda. Right? So, and this is the thing that you have missed in the question, maybe. Yeah? Yes. Can anybody repeat what you said just now? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And the range so, is 0 to 2 now? No, no, no. See, uh, you what numbers can lambda take? So I'm superficially taking the numbers. The uh, numbers, uh, the lambda can also take a value that can be in fraction. But I'm just superficially telling you the numbers to explain you the function of mod. So it is minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1 and 2. Please switch off your mic, Chitra. Chitra, please switch off your mic. Yes, thank you. Now, if you take mod here, the this will convert to 3. If you take mod here, this will convert to 2. If you take mod here, this will convert to 1. If you take mod here, this will be 0. This will be 1. And this will be 2. Now, can you tell me the range? Uh, yes, who asked so. this question? 0 to Got 3. It? Yes, so the range will be 0 to 3. Okay, now, uh, if I multiply 4 on each of the sides. So this will be zero, this will be four mod lambda, and this will be 12. Is that fine? Yes, ma'am. Okay, now the last question of maths. If 
uh, for non-zero vectors a and b, a cross b is a unit vector and mod a is equal to mod b is equal to root 2. Then the angle theta between the vectors a and b is? Option 3, ma'am. Option 3, ma'am. Option 3. Option C, ma'am. C, ma'am. Option C, ma'am. Yes, correct. So the answer is option option C. So can you tell me why? Ma'am, can you explain this question? Ma'am, mod yes. A so by doing into mod B cross I cross product. equals to this. Yes. yes. Uh, what's the uh, That only. What it told. Cross, cross product. Okay, okay, okay. So the cross product, uh, someone asked me this question just now. The sine theta is A cross B by mod A mod B. Is that fine? So A cross B is what? A cross B is what? Is it a unit vector? Unit vector. Yes, ma'am. It's a unit yes, vector. Yes, ma'am. So if it is a unit vector, then it is one. Unit vector is what? One? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Now, uh, this will be mod A multiplied by mod B will be root 2 multiplied by root 2. Who did this? Okay. So, it will be 1 by 2. When is sine theta 1 by 2? When theta by is six. equal to 5 by 6? 5 by 6. Okay. Done, guys? Are you done with the question paper? Yes. Okay. Yes. So, uh, I think your exam is approaching fast. How many days to go? Three months. Two days. Two days to go. Two days. Two days. Two days. And two days. There you go. Just remember, a night before you are not studying anything. In fact, a day before you are not studying anything. Just wake up in the morning. So, tomorrow is my exam. Today, I'll wake up in the morning. I'll brush up through the things that I have studied till now. All the formulas, the periodic table, the reactions, and your physical chemistry formulas. That's it you're going to do. And close the book and play for all day. Spend time with your family, spend time with your brothers, sisters, and next day you're going to write exam. So the minute you start taking pressure on your mind that tomorrow is my exam, that day you will not be able to perform. Okay? So the thing here is that if you maybe relax a bit, okay, then you will be able to perform in the exam. Okay. And uh, there's this, I send you a scientific uh, video, I guess, about magnetism. Who watched it? Anybody who watched it? How was it, Apurva? It was good? You didn't get it, Ashwini. Okay, I'll forward it again on the Nata group. Are you on Nata 2020 group, right? No, ma'am. There are I'm two groups. Okay, okay. Then I'll forward it here maybe in the chat box. Okay. So meanwhile, tell me how did you like, you like the video? Uh, were you able to relate? Because most of you are studying magnetism now and I thought maybe this can, you know, uh, Bring a wow factor into that. Yeah, ma'am. It was, it was a nice video. I was thinking yeah. how 2020 could get any worse. <laughs> and then this yeah. thing happens. <laughs> yeah, that happens. So, uh, this, see, some things, you know, some things, uh, YouTube is a nice thing to explore. Only if you are doing the correct way. Okay.